Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton for ID People. I'm here at ID World in Rio de Janeiro and I'm joined by Sprague Acton. Sprague, good to see you again. Thanks good to for see you. By to good chat. to be back here, yes. Um, you're going to be talking a little bit about supply chain and the technology that enables that. Tell me a little bit about the topics you're going to cover. Sure. Uh, lots of supply chain activities are driven by uh, technology centric uh, activities. You've heard a lot about barcode. Mm -hmm. And the barcode people are pushing to to uh, use that to enable efficiencies. Then you've heard about RFID, and uh, we've heard about uh, imaging technologies and GPS. And what my talk is going to be on today is how we can uh, combine technologies to create a, a synergy mm -hmm. that uh, that exceeds the the value of each individual technology. Okay, some of the totals being greater than the value of the past. Exactly. Um, and supply chain, I, I, <clears throat> I cover quite a few different industries and supply chain seems to be a real buzzword at the moment. My sense is good supply chain management, good supply chain designers are really, really sought after. Is that true in, in all sectors? Well, first of all, the whole term supply chain is, is just so huge. You know, some, if you're in manufacturing, your supply chain is getting your components Mm. you know to your manufacturing operation if you're in uh, you know distribution supply chain for you is getting it from you know the the manufacturers through your warehouse and into uh, you know the next step if you're the customer you don't care about the supply chain you just want the thing delivered mm. to your door yeah. and so from that standpoint I you know there's no one answer to that question but each step of the way there is an opportunity for efficiency and that's where you know technology can really make a big impact. Okay, and is that hard the combination of hardware and software? I mean, there are obviously some enabling um, hardware, but there's a Certainly. complex backbone, I guess. Certainly, very good question. Uh, obviously, uh, as we like to say in the technology world, you know, it's only software. It's a, <laughs> it's a very easy thing, but mm. uh, but obviously the software is key. And uh, for instance, one of the en enabling technologies I'll be uh, talking about is uh, the ability to read with a barcode scanner uh, an address, for instance, or say an information off a driver's license. Uh, in the old days, we called that optical character recognition OCR, mm -hmm. but it was notoriously uh, error prone. And so what a little bit of software has done is it's combined the recognition algorithms. And so you can, you know, figure out if you have a, a C or a, or a P, but mm -hmm. the O and zeros are still tough. And it combines that with a very clever uh, database uh, comparison. Right. So in the software, for instance, uh, in Brazil here, we would load all of the addresses in the country into a handheld device. And so instead of just trying to figure out what the letters and numbers are all by itself, mm -hmm. you take pieces of the address that you have decoded and, com and search through the database until you find partial matches, then you do more uh, optical character recognition and more matching, and then very quickly you have a highly accurate mm. read of the, uh, of say, a driver's license. Yeah. And, but what it actually is is a, uh, is a pattern match to a database entry, so it's 100% accurate. Yeah. Okay, well that's what we're all looking for, particularly in, in any kind of supply chain activity where we're, where we're delivering. You mentioned here in, in Brazil, is there an area of the world that's particularly leading in terms of developing these, these kind of connected supply chains? Or? Uh, you know, Brazil uh, is of course a land of great contrast. Mm. Uh, you know, you can see glistening high-rise yeah. apartments and then kind of cross the street and, and, you know, and, see, yeah. and see a favela. But uh, actually, Brazil is leading in many uh, technologies. For instance, they're a leader in the adoption of RFID. And uh, they've been uh, you know, using barcode technology probably longer than any other country in South America. So they are, they are uh, if I can you know, take, generalize the whole nation, definitely yeah. a leader in, uh, in adapting technology to their applications. OK, and in terms of applications, are you finding that infrastructure investment is, that is being driven by 
the Olympics, the World Cup here next year is is helping that whole process? Uh, you know, it. I wouldn't say it's helping in the supply chain uh, directly, but I would say it's helping in the uh, in the realization of the power of the technology. Okay. So you might have, uh, you know, say some uh, access control type mm -hmm. application, um, and. And they're ex exploring many different ways. You know, we're familiar with the, you know, the barcodes come mm. right onto your cell phone, and you can, you know, use that as access yep. control. They're they're exploring that. They're looking at some of the venues are going to be RFID enabled, and I think what that does is it raises the awareness mm. uh, in the general populace of the technology, and then those people then go to their jobs and say, "Wow, why don't yeah. we use this yeah. over here too?" Yeah. So awareness and acceptance, I guess. And those those two events, particularly the the first one next year, is going to be a real opportunity to. to yeah, test it, there's going to be uh, uh, there's going to be uh, computer uh, related uh, technologies, you know, all over the place. Yeah. It's, it's going to be, I think it's going to be a state of the art demonstration of uh, of our technology. That's sure. excellent. Well, that'll be great to see. Sprague, thanks very much for stopping by. Good luck with Thank your presentation. Thank you very much. And, I'm and looking forward to it. Enjoy the week. Thank great you. Great to see you. Thank thanks. you. Thanks.